March also means the beginning of rainbow trout spawning activity in many rivers and streams. While most rainbow trout are spawned in hatcheries, remnant populations of wild Colorado River rainbow trout and other rainbows that were introduced by the Division of Wildlife attempt to reproduce on their own. One such population lives in 11 mile reservoir and makes a spawning run up the South Platte River into the stretch known as the Dream Stream. Your fly selection for fishing over spawning rainbow trout should include both nymphs and dry flies. You will need a selection of size 18 to 22 nymphs, such as a mercury black beauty, a top secret midge, a nuclear egg, and a San Juan worm. Also be ready with dry flies to imitate emerging blue winged olives and midges, RS2s, and parachute atoms in sizes 18 to 24 will cover most of the hatches. That's a beautiful little rainbow. He ate the little midge. This guy's gonna take me all the way to 11 Mile Reservoir. It's a beautiful cut bow, 15 inch. Not a mark on this fish, just an absolutely Beautiful spinny mountain ranch rainbow cup of. The technique here is a combination of sight fishing for active fish when possible. Right there, see him sweeping? He's just, that guy is just munching. Holy mackerel. And blind fishing the deeper runs. Strike indicators are great tools for detecting subtle strikes of unseen fish when dredging nymphs through deep water. But when sight fishing to a visible fish, a strike indicator may be used for keeping track of the nymph's exact location. Veteran nymph fishers focus their attention on the fish. Setting the hook if the fish opens its mouth or swings out to feed when the nymphs are in its strike zone. Set the strike indicator at a depth that is about twice the depth of the water. Don't be surprised by a sudden hatch and the appearance of rising fish. A well-timed presentation to a rising trout could result in your first trout on a dry fly for the year. Nice little fish on a dry. 